gentlemen. God rest ye merry gentlemen, let nothing you dismay. Remember Christ our Savior was born on Christmas Day. To save us all from Satan's power when we were gone astray. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy. From God our heaven. in mind and left their flocks of feeding in tempest, storm, and wind, and went to Bethlehem straightway, the Son of God to find. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy, oh, tidings of comfort and joy. Amen. single come come Emmanuel if you remain seated
Second lesson, Genesis 22, verses 15 through 18. And the angel of the Lord called to Abraham a second time from heaven and said, By myself I have sworn, declares the Lord, because you have done this and have not withheld your son, your only son, I will surely bless you, and I will surely multiply your offspring as the stars of heaven and as the sand that is on the seashore. And your offspring shall possess the gate of his enemies. And in your offspring shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, because you have obeyed my voice. What child is this? What child is this? walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who dwell in a land of deep darkness, on them has light shone. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as they are glad when they divide the spoil. For the yoke of his burden and the staff of his shoulder, the rod of his oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. For every boot of the tramping warrior in battle tumult and every garment rolled in blood will be burned as fuel for the fire. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, 
Prince of Peace, of the increase of his government and of peace, there will be no end on the throne of David and over his kingdom to establish it and to, uh, to uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time forth and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. All my heart this night rejoices. lesson is from Isaiah 11, 1 through 9. There shall come forth a shoot from the stump of Jesse, and a branch from his roots shall bear fruit. And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. And his delight shall be in the fear of the Lord. He shall not judge by what his eyes see or decide disputes by what his ears hear. But with righteousness he shall judge the poor and decide with equity for the meek of the earth. And he shall strike the earth with the rod of his mouth and with the breath of his lips he shall kill the wicked. Righteousness shall be the belt of his waist and faithfulness the belt of his loins. The wolf shall dwell with the lamb and the leopard shall lie down with the young goat and the calf and the lion and the fattened calf together and a little child shall lead them. The cow and the bear shall graze, their young shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. The nursing child shall play over the hole of the cobra, and the weaned child shall put his hand on the adder's den. They shall not hurt or destroy in all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Lo, how a rose there blooming.
to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the son of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, O favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at the saying and tried to discern what sort of greeting that this may be. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his father David. And he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. And Mary said to the angel, How will this be, since I am a virgin? And the angel answered her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, your relative Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a child. And this is the sixth month with her who was called barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. And Mary said, Behold, I am the servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to to your word, and the angel departed from her. Christian men rejoice. Sixth lesson from Luke 2, 1 through 16. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration when Quirinius was governor of Syria. And all went to be registered, each to his own town. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to give birth. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling cloths and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. And in the same region, there were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over the flocks by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they were filled with great fear. And the angel said to them, fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling cloths and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God from the highest, and on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased. When the angels went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, 
Let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened while the Lord has, the Lord has made known to us. And they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. Angels we have heard on high. Seventh lesson, John 1, 1 through 14. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. The light shines in darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to bear witness about the light that all might believe through him. He was not that light, but came to bear witness about the light. The true light, which gives light to everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, yet... The world did not know him. He came to his own, and his own people did not receive him. But to all who did receive him, who believed in his name, he gave the right to become the children of God, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of the only Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. All my heart this night rejoices.
Amen. As we come to the end of our lessons and carols, you may have noticed that these lessons and carols tell the story of creation, fall, and redemption, as it has found its culmination, of course, in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And this is the message that our world needs today. We have become unmoored from history, and this is not good. Our spiritual history, the story of redemption, is important for us as God's people to know and to cherish because our spiritual past aids us in the here and now to live fruitful spiritual lives in the present. In anticipation, of course, of the glorious return of our Lord in the new heavens and the new earth where we will commune forever. We give glory to God that he didn't leave us in our state of corruption to live as spiritual prisoners in a corrupt kingdom. Instead, he has made possible a new kingdom and a new covenant of which we are partakers to the, play, to the praise of his glorious grace. And so now we come before the Lord in prayer, thanking him for all that he has done for his people. Let us pray. Father, Indeed, we thank you of the story of redemption that we have just read and sung. We thank you that your people stand before you today redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. And Father, we pray for all those who have yet to taste the sweetness of your kingdom. We pray that your blessed Holy Spirit might break through their hearts and that to the blessing of your spirit might shine in their hearts to receive the light of the glorious gospel, that they may be changed, that they might turn from their life of sin and instead turn to you and pursue righteousness and hope and holiness in faith. Father, bless us now, your people, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. I invite you to stand and let's celebrate by singing Go Tell It on the Mountain. Go tell it on.